Hello everyone, my name is Ali and this is my first attempt at a vlog. I just got this iPhone back actually. Uh, it got completely wrecked when we went to this cool place called Kampot for the weekend in Cambodia and ended up renting motorcycles or scooters, actually there were scooters not motorbikes, driving up a mountain to a national park for, if this was like the first time me and my friend were riding motorbikes. Uh, so we went to this national park and there was this amazing waterfall there. I was leading the way because I was like, you know what, I'm such a don. And it turned out that when we got into the waterfall, A, I slipped on a rock and broke a rib, or bruised a rib, something like that. And B, I took the fact that iPhones are water resistant to mean that they're waterproof and swam with it and took loads of nice photos. But then when I got out of the waterfall, it started crashing a bit and then stopped working. So I took it to the Apple store in Cambodia. Turns out there isn't an Apple store in Cambodia. So instead I took it to one of those official Apple authorized retailers, um, service people. And yeah, I got it back today and they replaced it completely free of charge. No questions asked. It's pretty fantastic really. Anyway, so for the past few days, I've kind of had the idea that it would be really cool to start vlogging. Um, I really enjoy watching vlogs on YouTube. And I think there's, there's really not many in the UK at least of medical students slash doctors doing vlogs. What I would really want to do is vlog my experiences of being a doctor from beginning to end. Uh, so starting on August 1st, 2018 and ending whenever, whenever, whenever the vlog ends. But in the meantime, what I want to do is vlog maybe my experiences of elective and experiences of my final year of university at Cambridge. They say that when, whenever you're starting on YouTube, your first 50 videos are going to be terrible. So I'm kind of hoping that over the next year, I'll make my 50 terrible videos. And then when we hit August the 1st, 2018, when life as a junior doctor starts, and then I'd be able to kind of hit the ground running um, and be able to actually film decent vlogs, uh, maybe once a week talking about aspects of being a junior doctor. And hopefully people will find it, find it interesting. Why am I vlogging? Uh, it's not really something I've ever done before. I've made a few videos over the last few weeks uh, while in Cambodia giving tips for the BMAT, the Biomedical Admissions Test, which is a test that people have to do to get into studying medicine at Oxford and Cambridge and some other universities. I've been teaching people how to do well in this test for the last few years, so I thought I'd make some videos about it. And that turned out to actually be quite fun. Um, and around the same time, I started getting into Casey Neistat and the other sort of pe big people in the YouTube vlogging community. And it seems like a really nice community. It seems like a really fun thing to do. I'm hoping that like a very worst case scenario, even if no one ends up watching these videos, which is pretty likely, um, it'll probably just be friends and maybe my grandma occasionally. I'm pretty sure my brother will watch each one. Uh, he's cool like that. Even if no one else watches these videos, at the very least, it'll be a fun thing to do, firstly. It'll be, it'll kind of stretch my creative muscles, uh, give me a sort of creative outlet while while going through medical school and while, while being a doctor. Um, and it'll be really nice to, I, I mean, at least I hope it'll be really, really nice to look back on in a few years' time and be able to see the behind the scenes and kind of document the process of what it was like to be a medical student, what it was like to be a junior doctor. Yeah. So that's why I'm going to do this, and it's it's pretty scary. You really do need to have a not giving a toss about what other people think type attitude. But I think it'll be quite fun, and if you're watching this, then it means it's probably on the internet somewhere. Which is not what I was planning when I initially pressed the record button and pointed the camera at my face. But I suppose you've got to start somewhere. And the first 50 videos are going to be terrible anyway, so probably don't watch them. But yeah. We'll see how it goes.